welcome to the demonstration of detecting e-banking phishing websites using associative classification. There are number of users who purchase products online and make payment through e-banking. There are banking websites which are phishing websites and ask for important information from the user and may misuse this information. So in order to detect whether a website is phishing website or not, this system checks the URL of the website and checks whether it satisfies the some criteria that will determine whether the website is phishing website or not. So it is very important for the user to know whether the website is safe or not. So this system provides a way for that. Uh, this application is developed using ASP.NET as front end and SQL Server as back end. So now let's have a look into the system. Let's first log in as admin into the system. So these are the options available for the admin. First one is view users, then add to blacklist, add words, view list, view feedback, change password. First one is view users, that is the admin can view all the registered users information that is name, email id, address and the contact number. The next one is add to blacklist. If the admin wants to add a URL of the website to blacklist, then it can do over here. So here the admin needs to enter the URL that it wants to add to the blacklist and just click on add to blacklist. So the URL, its title and description will be added to the blacklist. Next one is add words. If uh, if admin wants to add any words that should uh, that will scan that will be scanned in the URL and if uh, the URL will contain this word then the URL will be stated as blacklisted. So suppose I want to say equal to just click on add. So this word will be added to the blacklisted words. You can see over here. Okay. So the uh, next one is view list. Here the user, uh, here the admin can view all the website and the score that is it's positive or negative and if it is negative then it is considered as phishing website. Next one is change password. Here the admin can change the password. Just needs to uh, enter the old password and the new password. And just click on update. So here the message is shown that the password is updated successfully. Now let's log in as a user into the system. So as soon as the user logs into the system, these are the um, options available for the user. First one is my details that is as soon as the user logs in, it, it can view the details view its details. Next one is check website. Here the user can check whether a website is being blacklisted or not or other criteria of the website. So let's first enter this website URL and click on search. So if the URL of the website is in the blacklisted list, the, the system will show the blacklisted website message. So from here the user can decide whether it wants to further go with the navigation of the website or not. So now let's enter some other URL and check. Click on search. So here you can see the following information that is the, the, the URL that you entered is not in the blacklisted list. So it, uh, so, uh, so it is showing this message not blacklisted website and it also shows the following information related to the website that is the URL contains blacklisted words and the website may not be secure since it uses HTTP instead of HTTPS. The URL title and description is found. So after after coming across this information, the user can decide whether it further wants to browse through this website or not. Now let's enter some other URL. 
and check. Click on search. So here you can see uh, and and the information which is like which indicates that the website may be phishing website so that in that particular information is uh, shown in red color so the user can uh, so that the user will find it easy to decide so here you can see the url that the user entered is not in the blacklisted list so it is showing not blacklisted website the url does not contain blacklisted words and uh, only one warning that is the website may not be secure since it uses http instead of https and the URL title and description is found. So this particular system helps to uh, know all this uh, information about the website and the user can easily decide whether it wants to further go uh, browse through the website. Next one is feedback. Here the user ID is fetched automatically by the system. So here you just need to enter the feedback. So you are done, just click on submit. So thank you, your feedback is submitted, Me uh, message is being shown, that is, the data is successfully inserted in the database. So this is all about how the system detecting e-banking phishing website using associative classification works. Thank you.